Hey everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFutures.com, and welcome to the Market Mindset, where we dig into the psychology behind the moves today so we can better understand tomorrow. And today, we're taking a look at the gold futures. Now, first of all, before we start digging into everything, we need to put everything in context, right? What are we looking at coming in today? Well, first of all, the day before yesterday was a big swing to the upside, and that caused a very large daily candle. Now, when we come into yesterday's movement, that's the high and that's the low, you'll notice one very obvious thing. It's an inside day, right? Everything that happened yesterday was inside of the prior day. Generally speaking, one of two things is going to happen when you're looking at an inside day. Either it's going to break out of one side and fail and go through the other, or you're looking at a breakout move where it breaks above and doesn't stop going, right? So the type of situation really depends on what they wanna do when they get towards that high. We see the start of the morning is relatively back and forth, right? We, ha we have a strong bear candle, but then bad follow through. And then another good bear candle and then bad follow through. And then the buyers start swarming in. And this is where we start looking at thinking, okay, well, Obviously the sellers have fallen apart at this point in time and the buyers, especially after this candle here, they're gonna be looking to buy anything they can get their hands on, whether it's a small little pullback, whether it's a big pullback, doesn't matter. The buyers are gonna be swarming into this, expecting it to make another leg towards the upside. So we look to find the first opportunity of the day, which is buying as soon as possible, right? We're buying into the first bear attempt down. It completely falls apart as expected, and runs back up to a new high with another very aggressive push higher. Then we start getting some clues, right? We're seeing a lot of wick on the highs every time we push up towards the top, and we're getting a little bit weaker, right? Look at the distance of this breakout, and then look at the distance of that breakout. We're, we're dropping speed a lot, and that's giving us some clues that although the buyers are very obvious in, on, on their intention to buy on any pullback, got to be a little bit careful as we start going to the highs because now we're starting to get a three push pattern at the morning and usually in the morning when you get a big parabolic move that comes in the form of three pushes it's usually going to go sideways or correct for the rest of the day until it makes up its mind so as we start pulling back here we're looking to buy into the moves because we are expecting that third leg up but once we get that third leg up, that's where we start having to ease off the gas pedal a little bit and say, okay, you know, this is where the market is going to start going a little bit nasty, a little bit choppy, a little bit sideways. Instead of buying way up here, we now have to start looking to buy as low as possible. And that is exactly what happened. We had some beautiful breakout buys, a pullback buy, another double pullback buy into a 141 spike, and then we go into a range to finish off the morning. So just a beautiful scenario on gold that allowed the early morning traders to trade that morning drive and catch a beautiful run to the upside. And if you missed that initial move, it was forgiving enough to give you a couple chances to jump on in a pullback. So overall, just a great combination of technical analysis along with market psychology to understand what's going on. And that's gonna do it for this one. So hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you found it interesting, and we'll see you next time.